First of all, what our company does is we democratize intellectual property. Putting that into more simple words and also to break down what we do as a business, we visualize intellectual property that is basically invisible. We use IT information technology and also financial technology to obtain that. Right now, the current market for I intellectual property, which is basically licensing and also litigation in Maine, has a market of around, let's say, 100 billion US dollars. Once we start our business, we see the potential of expanding this market to around 5 trillion US dollars. The way we do that again is to visualize and utilize, monetize by, again, visualizing what intellectual property means. Thank you so much. And you've surpassed the bulk of COVID very successfully. Mm -hmm. What are your key success factors? Our business model actually was the main reason how we overcame COVID, if we were to put it that way. Again, to repeat what we do, it's basically data analysis, which obviously could be done over the cloud, could be done remotely. So there wasn't a big negative impact on our business, although, of course, working remotely and things like that, we had to tweak a little bit. And having said that, um, I think uh, you know, the rest of the world is still in quite a, um, you know, still, we're still close to the end of the tunnel. So we hope that everybody is safe and well. And what are your projects and your plans for the next 12 months? Next 10 months. So for the upcoming, let's say, one year, uh, one of the main points of our business that we're going to focus on is the um, advisory service regarding litigation cases. The background to this is that um, cross-border litigation cases, actually we feel that it has not reached its potential and there should be much more cases that are actually not, you know, not acknowledged at the moment. And back to our business model, since we visualize intellectual property, we feel that this will advance and not just advance, but really thrust forward the number of cases um, regarding intellectual property litigation cases. So again, that's the reason why we'll focus on this field. And added to that, um, we also will need to beef up our um, engineering staff too. So that would be the main point. And what brings you to Sir Anthony's Monaco conference? Obviously, the opportunity that this event brings to us. The venue is great, we just mingle with some people and the vibe is there. And adding to that, of course, uh, again, um, the business potential that um, not just us, but like the synergy that we can create with the people here, we just feel the sky is the limit. So we, we have you know, so much um, you know, hype inside of us joining this event.